Are we on? Yep. I started it. <laughs> this is crazy. I told you I was going to push the button. <laughs> Hi. Hey, guys. Okay. We have some news. We have big bricks. <laughs> I like big bricks and I cannot lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to say it. Okay. All right. So, in Sensi World. This is a brick. <laughs> this is half of a brick because we oh. really liked this well, one. Well, <laughs> the clamshell holds a full brick. This is a bar. Yep. Okay. Yep. So okay. each each one of the cubes from the brick is about three and a half cubes from a bar. Mm-hmm. So. so okay, so let's so let's okay. talk so bars bars versus bricks. Most people you normally just buy a bar mm -hmm. and during a few times of the year there are special edition bricks like this mm -hmm. you can also buy bricks currently in Sensi Club it's the only way you can buy them so there are I think 20 some cents so you can't just buy a brick by itself like not normally? no hmm. not right now Weird. this will let me get there let me okay. get there okay all right so how do you use a bar okay um, to avoid making a lot of, I'm not going to open it. Well, you open it. It makes noise, but I, oh, I, tr I tremble so much. Spiced in bird glow. Yes. Hmm. That's a good one. Yes. That's how I use a bar. I, I open it and I smell it. Oh, I mean, if you want to be fancy, you could put it in a warmer. <laughs> okay. So how do we, how do we use a bar? So, um, it comes out of the clamshell really easily and, uh, you can flip it upside down. I usually do this in the kitchen just in case there are tiny little slivers crumbs. of wax that, that, yeah, crumbs. And you just push it out of the clamshell, easily break up the cubes. And then in a mini warmer, which is the size of one that you put in an outlet on the wall, like for a bathroom, a mini warmer, you can use one or two of these cubes. Mm -hmm. And in a full size traditional warmer, you can use anywhere from one to four cubes at a time. And um, that is how you use these. Now, with a brick, a brick is five and a half, okay, I'm gonna, yeah, five and a half, five bars. and a half bars. So, a, obviously, one cube here is not the same as one cube here, so you don't do the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, with the, with the brick, you can use one full size cube in a full size warmer. Any smaller than a full size, if you use a mini warmer, you need to cut these, these cubes up. And it is really, really easy to do. You can just use a butter knife. It's no big deal. Yeah, it's surprisingly easy. It's, so like when we, uh, we were sending, uh, we were bagging up one of these cubes to go to somebody. That was for a local person. So. Oh yeah. And it wouldn't fit in the bag, so I got out a steak knife to cut it in half. And it just... Totally didn't need a steak knife. It's like, it's stiffer than butter to cut, but it was super easy. It's super, these are really soft wax, so if you're mm -hmm. intimidated by, by this and you don't know what to do with it, it's really, really no big deal. Don't worry about it. But, so let's, so, so the, the good stuff... Um, do they have anything bigger than a brick? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but in Sensi Home Office, though, the Sensi Buddies... This is a Sensi Buddy. And in the home office, all throughout the hallways, they're lined with full size versions of every Sensi Buddy they've ever released. Like a life size. Yeah, Eeyore. life size. They're huge. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. So, <laughs> little trivia. I should show you a picture of that one day. Okay, anyway, so bricks. These bricks, um, I have five of them. I cannot physically hold five up at a, at a time. Um, these are were released early to consultants to purchase ahead of time to make samples and inform our customers. It's really, really cool. In the past, they have not done that. So as a new consultant, I thought that was awesome and didn't even realize how awesome that was because it's not how it's been in the past. So there are five cents that are available to the public as of October 25th. Hopefully I have that date right, October 25th. And you can um, buy these bricks then at that point. You can also buy them as a bar and I'll, I'll get there at the end. So is what this, cents? Yeah, is this part of a set? Like no, you can buy five. them individually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, a brick, 
Okay, so a bar is $6. I'm gonna hold everything up wrong. A bar, the small one, is $6. These are $24 usually. For the um, holiday, these are called the 2021 Holiday Collection. And they were releasing at $24 for one, $40 for two. I should have had this in front of me and I do not. $40 for two. So that becomes even cheaper when you consider how much this contains versus a bar. I'm gonna say this all wrong. Yeah. Anyway, let me get so, to the sense because it's Okay, so five and a half bars would be like thirty-three dollars. And this is twenty four. Twenty four. And if you buy two, so it's well 40. just buying the one is uh what, seven dollars cheaper, so that's more than a bar cheaper. It's cheaper. Yeah. It's, okay. good, it's a great deal. It's a good deal. But let's get to the sense. The sense are the fun part. Okay. Okay. I like so. the math. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I'm going to go buy in order my list. Okay. So the first up is Fluffy Fleece. And uh, we've gone through only a little bit of this one so far. And of course, we have to smell everything. I can't open stuff. Okay. Fluffy Fleece. Since he says this is black currant and cozy musk. Bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. Heliotrope? Heliotrope. What is heliotrope? I don't know. I forgot to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so this one. Okay, so. I smell, it smells, there's like a powder scent and a floral scent. Okay, so this is a little floral. Um, the musk, so there are several of my favorites. Um, what's the one? Uh, the one that I love that you hate, what's that? Um, oh, Born to Shine. Born to Shine. Um, there are certain ones that I've been recommending. This reminds me a little bit of Born to Shine. Maybe because of the musk. Because of the musk. So I am I tend to really lean towards those. And that but you didn't this, mind this. Yeah, I didn't mind this at all. It has kind of a, well, it's a warm, cozy scent. So this one, but with I was... But floral and powder. Yeah, I was afraid that I wouldn't like this because, and, and some people kind of call it like an old grandma scent or like a grandma house and... It's got a little bit of that, but I think that in a good way, not a bad way. Mm -hmm. It's like a cozy grandma. It, yeah, like I, um, yeah. we were, I was making samples of this the day that we had AC repair people in the house. Um, and then I also was switching to foodie scents. I was doing a lot of samples while they were here. Our house probably smelled really weird. <laughs> but um, I was afraid that I wouldn't like this one and I really like it. We just haven't had a chance to go through much yet, but uh, I think we're gonna switch to more of this this afternoon. So. As far as personal recommendations, um, if you like personal recommendations from me, I do recommend this one. I think I, think I like this one. Okay. So, so what's next? That is Fluffy Fleece. And then we have Pink Poinsettia. I'll have you open that one. Okay. Pink Poinsettia, and I just realized uh, while doing all of this that I've been spelling Poinsettia wrong my entire life. <laughs> it's Poinsettia. 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 I've always huh. left off that eye. There's an extra eye in there. Yeah, there is. Go ahead and open that one up. Okay, Pink Poinsettia is crisp plum and blackberry. Celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. Hmm. That's, I definitely smell berry. Very berry. So very berry. I am going through this anti-berry phase. I don't know what's with me. It is a good berry. Mm -hmm. I, I like the berries. I don't personally like, I'm just having a thing with berries. I don't, I yeah. don't know what the deal is. Who doesn't like berries? I don't know. I, I hope it's a phase because it's a good, it's a good berry scent. Um, mm -hmm. If you like berry, if you like the fruity stuff, it's, it's yeah. good. Yeah, so this isn't, so I would have guessed that it was going to be like very floral from the name. Right, it's not, it's fruit. Yeah, it's, there's a little bit of floral, but mostly fruit. And sweet. Yeah, that smells very good. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people really like this one. Mm -hmm. And I really need to get over my anti-berry thing. It's really annoying. I, I hope it's a phase, because... Yeah, we, we had a really good berry one going. That was Halloween Town last night. Yeah. I know, and was, I, I pushed... That was good. She didn't like it. I don't, I'm just having a berry issue. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. okay. All right. Spiced eggnog. Okay. Okay. This one, this one rocks. I don't know what you, th oh, did, did he like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of wax. That's a, yes. <laughs> okay, so spiced eggnog is ground clove simmers in a festive flen blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog and mm -hmm. spot on like yeah I, I get won't, this i won't even make fun of the description for this one like that's an accurate description this is mm -hmm. amazing get it in the get it in the brick you'll, yep. you'll love it 
so yeah, I mean, we used up most of this. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to go through this we're, the next two weeks. We were warming this one, and then we were like, oh, hmm, let's put it in another warmer. And, let's oh, put it in another warmer. Let's put it in another warmer, because <laughs> <laughs> we have so much of it, and then now it's half gone. Yeah, yep, so that, and that one. Um, so that's the spiced eggnog. Yes. Sorry, I'm probably rushing things. That's but. okay. Okay, next up, this one, is a sweet orange pomander. And the notes for this are sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn a sweet orange in a dazzling display. And with this one... So, so I, I remember this one. And it's... I, I have thoughts about why we thought what we thought. So it has... So I smell a lot of spice. From this this one. one is heavy clove. Um, it's a really... This one will be better as a mixer. I think um, so. With with any of the other ones here by itself, it's probably going to be a little too spicy. Yeah, so that's what um, I, by itself for me it was too spicy. It was spicy. too spicy. Like, I was in a hurry. Also, I was really pushing to get samples done, so I was kind of not in a great mood when we were doing this one. I was just like, okay, let, let's just let's get this done. Let's get on the next scent because I was just trying to get things mm -hmm. done. So I don't. Um, I didn't pay as much attention to what I thought about it as I normally do warming. So I just kind of wanted to, to temper that. So um, I do think this one will be good with other stuff. Yeah, I think that um, if it had another something well, it'll else be, to tone it down. It'll be really it. good with the, the eggnog or if you don't get the eggnog with a vanilla or a cookie or something to kind of temper the, the clove. Mm -hmm. It's heavy clove. Yeah. So, okay. And then vanilla cinnamon maple. That's this one, and I don't know. Can you tell what we thought? <laughs> I think this one was my favorite out of the bunch. Well, it, I, I don't know if we ever did this alone. I think we did it with, we had this in a warmer and the eggnog in another warmer constantly. Yeah. So let's, okay, so. This been, goes really well with the eggnog. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. peanut butter and jelly, you know, yep. just total. Okay. Vanilla cinnamon maple is cinnamon stick, warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet sweet cream so you can tell what we thought <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. so to me this oh, has no. kind of a like I, I get a toasted oak scent in here yeah this reminds me of the toasted acorn scent a little toasted bit toasted acorn and oak or something so yeah i get kind of a, a warm woodsy scent with the vanilla and maple like the maple is not strong in this one. Like it's kind of an undertone, um, but it blends really it, well. And these and two, it makes, well, grab the eggnog. Yeah. yeah, so these two absolutely like mm -hmm. hardcore, they go together. Yeah. And, and we've gone through the same, almost the same amount on both, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they mix really well with each other. Yeah. So, um, so thoughts about the bars, so. October 25th, you'll be able to purchase them from my website for $24 for a bar, a brick, oh, brick. sorry, brick, $40 for two. And if you're really intimidated by getting the bricks, there is one way to get them as a bar, and that is through Sensi Club. Sensi Club is just a subscribe and save. That's, that's all it is. You don't have to pay anything extra to be in the club. You just click join club and you're in the club. It's no big deal. You'll be able to buy the bars I did say that right. Okay, the, the bars through Sensi Club, and you can cancel that at any time. It's no big deal. Okay. So, so if you don't want a giant, brick if you don't box. want a giant brick, but I highly recommend the vanilla, it would get vanilla, vanilla cinnamon maple. I keep, yeah. I keep getting the name wrong on that, and the, the spice and eggnog as mm -hmm. bricks because they're fantastic. Obviously, I mean we've gone through half of a brick. Yep. Um, so that is. That is, that's pretty much the bar versus brick update. Those are the, those bricks are coming out. Man, English is hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the bricks are coming out October 25th. Um, I have mail going out tomorrow to my current customers with samples. So if you are a customer, you will get this in the mail soon. Mm -hmm. If you want a sample, let her know. Yep, if you want a sample, please ask me um, because there's still, <laughs> there's still a lot mm -hmm. here. And I think that's that's pretty much the big update. There are still two more boxes in our kitchen of Sensi mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. So 
more videos coming soon. Sure. So that's it for now. And uh, I think I think we're about to go switch to some more spiced eggnog. So. Cool. Cool. Okay. All right. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.